What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Deja Vu for the Nintendo. Go ahead and save it real quick. After finding the Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk and giving her a pill laced with that... What? Um, sodium pentothal revealed an address to her home in Auburn Road, where her husband and... I guess his mistress are at. You found this big plot to frickin' frame you, huh? for like a murder and a kidnapping uh, and all this shit because like the husband and Mr. Sternwood and then it's like I guess the mistress I think it's like uh, uh, Vicky something. Fuck, they just said her name was. Well, not just said, but they said it before. Martha Vickers, there we go. You know, like your old manager. Um, Joey's like your old boxing manager, I guess, owns that bar too was in love with her, she told him to get lost. And then... I guess her and the husband... I don't, I don't know, tried to fucking... do some kind of plot or something to... fucking... pay a ransom or some shit, I don't fucking know. You're in the master bedroom, there's a man asleep in the bed. Mr. Stern was having a nice sleep. Okay, same thing. Briefcase you recall having carried a long while ago. That's how I wanted to do. Open the Bria case. Okay, so the plot was involving whom? Okay, put the mist in the trunk. Wait for the door near your arrival. Put you in the stall, inject him with the whatever. Wait for Joe Siegel. Okay, put him behind his desk and shoot him with a gun. Play Siegel's thing with the ace. Okay. Them, don't you just put one to your nose and blow, okay? Box of chocolates, I don't think I need that. No, not the box of candy yet. Oh! Might as well look at it since I'm right here. Piece of chocolate. says Sternwood, this is my final one and keep your hands off Vickers or your wife gets the story. I don't think she'll look upon you so favorably in her will after that. Since Vickers belongs to me, you can pay for her if you want her that bad. She'll cost you ten grand. Confusing the plot now. He and her conspired to frame you for Joey's murder and for her kidnapping or something. That's kind of how it seemed. 
yeah, they those two plotted to have you frame for her for Mrs. Sternwood's kidnapping and Joe's murder. Okay, I got confused for a second. I'm like, wait a minute, how does that work? You're in a yellow curb. Okay, so and I'm I should be like doing the last like finishing the game stuff now. Uh, I think once the guy robs you, then that's it. Like, I don't think he shows up again. I completely forgot to do something. Fuck. Get out of my face, you freaking drunk ass. I was completely supposed to check something. I can still do it. Is that going to take me no more than like a minute or two to actually get there? I was supposed to do the... The thing with them too. I just completely fucking forgot. say something crucial that you need to hear. You just trust to mumble. You don't owe me, Joey. You're gonna die if you're trying to stop me from seeing John. See this gun? Here's what you get for meddling. Just back to sleep, okay? She's the one that actually shot Joe. Ah. Okay. starts to mumble. Follow the timetable to the letter and destroy the evidence when we're done. It looked like Ace did the kidnapping for Siegel. Okay, so it was... Tried to make it seem like that... Joe kidnapped, like, you and Joe kidnapped the missus for, like, a 20,000 ransom, uh, but it was actually him and Martha that plotted to frame you for it anyway. Don't worry about the missus, she'll self kid before anyone finds her. Okay, so he's just an asshole. Alright, so now I'm done. Oh, this shit. part of the sewer, okay? Is it here? The sewage looks really deep right here. You could probably throw something in it and never see it again. And this is where you just start dumping all your shit. And it'll let you know... Oh, no, no, it's leave. It'll let you know whether you're supposed to... Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and just save it real quick. I 
I think it will actually let you know whether you can or not. Say, I, that's probably not, yeah. Hold on, if you do that, it may cause you trouble later. So get rid of the ladder. Or maybe not. Okay, chew the gum. Sunglasses. Okay, can't throw the coat. The hanker. The gun. Really need to pick up any of this shit, but... This one might actually be like a 20 minute episode. Was like important. be it. been a while. I just got out of prison. Wanted to pay our old friend Seagull a visit, but I only found this car out front, so I prepared a little surprise under the hood. Something to even the score. And a little surprise in my purse for you, too. Yeah, um, no? Stocko, she's out like a light, and her purse drops to the ground. You're standing over the lady you just knocked out. Wouldn't advise standing here much longer. Alright, and if I did everything correctly... Yes! You're in the hands of police. The evidence you brought to them proves to be interesting. The courtroom where you wind up. During the trial, the kidnapping of Mrs. Sternwood and the murder of Joel, Joey Siegel. Three bits of evidence prove valuable. The diary from Vicar's bungalow. The blackmail letter and timetable from Sternwood's bedroom. These three items put together paint the picture of a plot by Sternwood and Vickers to kill Mrs. Sternwood and Siegel to make you take the fall for it. The diary and the blackmail letter provided the motive for such actions. The timetable indicated how they did it. 
Sternwood and Vickers were grilled on the witness stand. The weight, the evidence, and the skilled tactics of your lawyer made Vickers admit to the crime. Way to go, Ace. Because of your excellent skills, the case is laid to rest. They say the Ace Harding School of Investigation certified blah, 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 as a fully qualified private investigator with full privilege and honors. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Ace. You're off the hook. Since the case drew national interest, your name is seen in every paper in the country. I could have asked for anything more. Ace Harding's my moniker. Once a boxer, now a private eye. Siegel lost his life for a mere 20 grand, so I'm off the hook. The town's really quiet all of a sudden, like nothing's happened. The crime will never cease here. It's hunting its next victim right at this moment. Ace Harding's my moniker. The next case is just around the corner. Somebody had better look out. The end. Alrighty then, and there is the end of... Deja Vu. Um... It was alright. But I guess I got more drawn to the, um, I guess, medieval fantasy parts of Shadowgate, so I don't know why. I just like that one more, maybe because of that aspect. And the same thing with the uh, third installment, um, The Uninvited. It goes back to like a supernatural kind of aspect to it. I mean, this one wasn't bad, it's just I didn't like it as much as the other two. Now, there is a sequel to this called Deja Vu 2. I think it's called Lost in Las Vegas. I believe it's like Apple only. Or some shit like that, like for the computer. I might look up, look it up later and then try to do it. I don't know yet. So, please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe to my videos and my channel if you like what you saw. You can if you want to. If not, that's fine too. I'm going to continue doing a few more of my re-recordings of other games and then I'll start working on some brand new ones that I just got so just look for them when they come out so until then this is Sabe Knight and I will see you guys next game later